How to add a brand slider to your Shopify store step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will be showing you guys how you can get started with adding a brand slider to your Shopify store. So let's get into it. Now, building a brand slider can help you in showing any associated brands that you have with your business. It can help you in promoting your business to display that, okay, your business is a trustable business, especially if you are in the tech or marketing or service industry in those particular industries it's very essential to be able to show your affiliations and to show any kind of association you might have what are the other businesses that are using your tools or services so how can you add that into your own store on shopify well it's a very simple procedure simply head on over to your Shopify store. Once you go into your Shopify store, you're going to click on settings on the bottom left, then go on to the apps and sales channels. Once you go into your apps and sales channels, open up your Shopify app store. And once you have opened up your Shopify app store, just search for slider. Now, once you search for slider, you will see a few different types of tools available. I like to use a simple tool called the Fox Cell, Slider and Carousel. Now they have a free plan as well as a seven day free trial. One thing to note is that on their free plan, you can only build one homepage slider. Usually for brand slider, that is the location that you have them in. So I never usually pay for this. I always use the free version because I only need one brand slider and I only need it on my homepage. However, if you are someone that wants more customization, you can go with one of their more premium plans, which includes the removal of their branding, includes creating sliders on all pages, all templates, lazy loads, multi-currency, and complete customization. Now, you do have some alternating options as well. So you also have the Image Slider Pro that I have used, as well as the Power Image Slider. Now, I really like the Image Slider Pro. It's a simple to use tool. You can create one simple slider with their plan as well and you also have different variable pricings on different plans so you can choose the one that suits you the best now we're going to be using our original slider which is our fox cell and i'm just going to go into fox cell and click on install over here now once you click on install we are going to wait for the installation and we are going to let it open up the installation window where we are going to connect it to our Shopify store. So we're going to click on install over here. And once you click on install, you are going to be led to your Shopify dashboard once more. And then on the left, you have your application. So you're going to pin this to your navigation and then check your theme compatibility. Foxel is compatible with a lot of different themes. You don't have to worry about a lot of your newer themes. You don't have to worry about that. And you may check compatibility multiple times, especially if you switch to a new theme. So we're just going to wait for the compatibility test to be completed. And now once that has been completed, it will refresh your Shopify dashboard for you. And once this has been completed, we can get started with setting our actual dashboards up. So you guys can see there is a seven day free trial. I'm not going to access this. I will continue with the free plan because I only need the free plan. So in your free plan, you have a collection slider, you have a bestseller slider, you have a custom product slider that you can build. You also have the Fox Cell Bundles Plus. So as you guys can see, uh, this is going to allow you to build your custom product slider. Now, one thing to note is that I like to add the brands as products and then I hide them from all other pages. However, that might be something that is not going to be a feasible thing for you to do. So if you don't want to add the logos as products and then you can hide them from any other pages and just, you know, add a do not buy in the price. Or if you want, you can go with image sliders. Now I'll show you guys an image slider as well. So if I use the image slider over here, I can install that. And it's pretty much the same thing. Instead of just adding products, you can install the images directly onto the plugin. Now this is just personal preferences simply because 
you have the option on your own. I like to use the Foxel initially because it is built for Shopify, but the Image Slider Pro is also a good option. So I'm going to use the free version and just activate that and then just click on sliders on the Image Slider Pro. Now over here, I can click on create slider, which is going to be our brand slider. And then I'll click on submit over here. Once I do that, you guys can see that you have to select all option if you want it to be displayed on both desktop and mobile devices. So I will click on all. And then from here, you can upload your images or your logos. So I have a bunch of logos that I have downloaded. I'm just going to wait for my logos to be completed. And then once the logos have been completed, I can click on go to slider over here. And just like that, we have the different images. You can enter image captions if you want, but I'm just going to proceed without them. I can click on next, and this is how the order of the logo is going to be as well. Now, once you have completed that, you have one to six entries. Now you can click on upload. And if you click on upload over here, you guys will see that your slider will be uploaded. So this is the current slider. And now you can click on settings of the slider to control the slider behavior. You have the inline display, pop-up display, image sorting. If you want manual sorting, if you want them to be in a randomized order, if you want them to be alphabetical, so from A to Z, if you want them to be new to old, I'm just gonna go with a random order. And then you, from here, you're going to choose the size of your particular slider. So the width and the height. Now I'm going to keep it at default width and height. However, if you want your own customized sizing, you can always insert that over here like this. It's 1600 by 1600 pixels. If I want a smaller slider, I can go on ahead and build a smaller slider as well. If you want the default sizing, you can just remove the pixels and then it will go back to defaults. Then you have the slider style. So I want this to be a logo slider, or if I want this to be a simple slider, I want this to be a carousel slider. So I'm gonna keep it as a carousel slider because that's just my preference. And then we have the number of images in the carousel. So if I want to display all of them together, I can do that. If I want them to slide a little, I can do that as well. I want to display maybe four images at a time like this, just to make it, you know, easier. And then the number of images in mobile carousel, I'm going to extend that to three. After that, you have your slider settings where you have the autoplay, the arrow, the background color. If I want to customize that, we can do that as well. The arrow text color. Now, if I want, I can remove the arrow just to make it a bit more smooth. And then we have the transition effect. If you want it to be faded, if you want it to be a slide effect. And then you also have the options for the slider speeds as well. Now I'm going to choose the number of images in desktop. And then after that, you have your style settings. So your basic style settings, and then just click on save. Now I might want to view my slider once more just to customize it a little. I will go on ahead and then just click on its basic settings because I don't want the slider to be too large. You guys can see we have the number of images. We have a simple slider, a carousel slider. I'll go for a carousel slider over here, click on save. And then you're going to click on install on the bottom left. Now, if you want to install your slider to your page, and if this is a 2.0 Shopify theme, you can just click on install, or you can do it manually with this installation process. I can just click on install over here. And if this is not do it, so if it's going to show you an error, just copy this. And this is going to be where you're going to insert your theme editor. So you will have to enable the slider script from the theme editor to be able to enable the slider from your store. So we're just going to open that up. We have our app embeds. We're going to enable that. And then after that, you are going to copy this and then place the embedded code. So I'm going to go ahead and then go into sections now. I'm going to add a section over here and you can just add custom liquid. And then in your custom liquid, you can enter the code like so. And then you also have the custom liquid options over here. But we're just going to wait for the installation to be completed. 
So now it has been installed in our Shopify page. And just like that, you can install your own brand slider into your Shopify page. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.